Hello and welcome to Modern Broadcast. We are back at it again with our Flipper Zero. Again, looking at our Wi-Fi development board. Now, where we last left off is my Wi-Fi dev board has the evil portal on it. And I'm getting a lot of questions based off that video I made of getting um, the Marauder working. And there are some new things to kind of test out, to check out, and to do. So we're going to just go ahead go through the process and make an updated tutorial on Wi-Fi Marauder for the Flipper Zero. I'm going to try in this video to answer a lot of the common questions that I get as we go along here. So if you had questions after watching that video, give this one a watch through the whole way through. Uh, and hopefully I answer your question. Always send me a message. I will do my best to answer them. I can't get to every question as there's quite a lot when it comes to Flipper Zero stuff. Let's go ahead and get started. So I have my Wi-Fi dev board here and uh, I am at the GitHub uber guido z flipper tree uh github and uh this is a link that's in the previous video as well however it looks like that they updated it and added a fifth option if you have the micro sd card mod it looks like so we're not going to do it this way this time instead uh, they have a little note here that says, do not miss this. There is a wonderful web-based option as well, and it's a bit easier than others. So this is the FZEE -E flasher, and I have not done this. This is, I'm, I'm going through it blind. We're kind of all experiencing this all at once, except for I have some movie edit magic on my sleeves to cut out any parts where we get stumped for a second, right? <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead. Let's go give this FZEE -E flasher a try. Go ahead and click this. And we are taken to the FZEE flasher.github.io. And let's go ahead and click this how to button up top. Welcome to FZEE -E flasher beta, the unofficial flipper zero ESP32 dev board web flasher. This website is designed to assist you in updating the firmware of your ESP32 dev boards for the Flipper Zero to utilize this web tool. Follow these steps. You might need to install the driver from Silicon Labs in order for the ESP32 to be recognized. I believe we have already done this in the previous video. If you have not, go ahead and just do it um, or see if you run into problems, download this driver and try again. Check if your ESP32 dev board needs to be uh, in bootloader mode. This is done by holding the boot button and plugging in the USB at the same time. Some boards may not require the step. So this is interesting. So I get hit with a lot of questions right here. It didn't work. I held down the boot button. It, it's not working. What's going on? Maybe your board doesn't require it. Um, I did not know that was a thing. The other thing is I get people that they push the button, they let go of the button, and then they plug it in. You have to keep holding that button as you're plugging it in. Same time. And keep holding that button. Uh, and it's about five seconds. And I think people are letting go a little bit too soon. Or, again, just make sure you're holding it for that five seconds there. Click the connect button located at the top right of the page. A dialog box will appear prompting you to connect paired comm device. Click connect. In the select model menu that appears, use the drop down menus to choose your board version and firmware. Click on program. We've included an erase function in case you've encountered issues with your ESP32. Well, that's very nice of them. And once the flashing process is complete, your ESP32 board will be ready to use with its new firmware. And we got some FAQs. Is the FZ, I'm just going to call it FZ from here on. Is the FZ flasher affiliated with Flipper devices or any other custom hardware sites? No. Why can I not connect my ESP32 and get an error browser not supported? Some browsers have disabled serial port for security reasons and will not allow connection to the ESP32 board. You will need to enable it in the browser to use a, or use a browser that supports it. Will you support X firmware and when? FZ Flasher is very new and in beta. We do intend to support many popular firmwares in the near future, including those from third party uh, hardware vendors. And how can I help FZ Flasher? We are planning to open the site up to the community for further development in the near future. And then we have some support links down here uh, just to kind of get you where you need to go. Okay, so here we are on the FZ Flasher. I'm going to go ahead and hold that boot button now and plugging in in three, two, one, and letting go. Let's go ahead and click the connect button here. And we see our uh, dev boards right here. 
I'm going to go ahead and click connect. And so it looks like we have a couple uh, boards here. We have the flipper dev board, which is what I have. I do not have the SD card mod to it. Then we have the ESP32 too, uh, or with the SD card mod, and the ESPW room. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my board, go latest, and I want to flash Marauder onto our dev board here. Instead, right now I have Evil Portal. We're going to do Marauder and go program. And just like that, it's done. Restart the board or disconnect to use the device. That was insanely easy. Quite impressed at how fast that was. So yeah, I mean, then let's go ahead and get our uh, flipper and uh, I will be right back. All right, and so here we are on Q Flipper now. I just plugged in my Flipper Zero and uh, what we need to do, I'm gonna make this bigger so we can see what's going on. He's, he's a little upsetty. We're gonna go up to Applications, GPIO, and we're gonna scroll down do to do to Wi-Fi Marauder and we're going to scan and here we found uh, the list there we go and so it works uh that is way easier than what we had to do in the first video so hopefully this video is going to help a lot of you out and kind of answer a lot of those questions and get a lot of that taken care of the other thing that uh I was getting a lot of a ton of questions on is that the under applications in GPIO there is no Wi-Fi Marauder. Uh, it looks like I have another one, but it has a question mark. So this one should not work. Uh, th I think this is the one from the previous video. It just, it didn't wipe it. It just made a new one because the name is slightly different. So keep that in mind. But a lot of questions I get is that the Wi-Fi Marauder does not exist under applications. They cannot find it. Where do you get it? what's going on and if we come down here I wanted to show is this very cool flipper store if you will where it has a bunch of fap files it has a bunch of stuff that you may want to play with and I'll have a link in the description below but this is flipc.org and uh, basically you can just take a look they have like snake on here and then you just install it uh, or download it and then drag it over and put it into your Flipper Zero. It tells you what firmware that is needed. So it looks like uh, select firmware. Looks like we can go Unleashed, Rug Master, or Extreme. And they all have Snake 2. And just different things. Here's Evil Portal. You might even be able to find a FAP file in here of the uh, Wi-Fi Marauder. There it is. So if you're missing the FAP file, you could just do this. It may be outdated. Um, I'm not sure, but you could download this, drag it over and put it in the GPIO folder under applications, and then you have it. So I'll have a link in the description below uh, for this site as well. And just kind of play with it. Have fun. And the Flipper Zero is all about learning. It's all about, you know, uh, having fun and uh, use it responsibly, of course. Uh, disclaimers, I don't condone any illegal or illicit activities uh, utilizing the Flipper Zero. YouTube, don't take my videos down. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, that's about all I got for today. Have a great week, everyone. Next week, we're going to be doing some GB Studio tutorials. So stick around for that if you're interested and take care. Bye.